Ones that are similar to this are, there's one called Bermuda Triangle Exit. I don't know if we ever played this. It's shorter than it seems. There are really only three parts. Um, okay. And the uh, first one is this. Four measures. Okay. okay? And that's usually it's done twice. So, so like one time through that section is two of those. Okay. The second section was the one that had the B minor chord. It's similar. It's only four measures. And it's always done twice. section is a little bit more elaborate. That was the four measures of it, but the second time around has a slightly different, uh, quite a different ending. So that's it. It's really just three okay. four measure sections Great. with an intro that leads into it, and then that happens at the end as well. And there's a variation at one point on the A section. The A section was this. Well, the same, the similar is this variation on it. Now the rest is the same. So it's like a two measure variation on the first two measures of the A section. So the whole thing is really only like 16 measures, 16 maybe different measures right. that you have to learn, you know, so it's, but, but it, you know, it, there's a, enough variety in all of it to make it, make it pretty interesting. There's a little tag at the end, and then into the ending, which is like the beginning. Just a, so, yeah. so, so that's okay. what I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's shorter than it seems in terms of it's, it's not <laughs> like The Entertainer or something, you know, right. which is, is again this you know, massive thing. Right. So um, it was written by Stefan Grossman, who's a, um, who goes back to, I mean, still, still around, um, uh, but was uh, really an important figure in making stuff, in getting, putting books out that had tablature to stuff that people had not been able to learn in the past. And this was in, like in the, in the early 70s, late 60s. Um, he took lessons from Reverend Gary Davis when he was uh, like in, in the early 60s, and so he's so he's kind of an expert in, in Gary Davis style of stuff, which is things like um, Anyway, some, 
some cool finger picking yeah. things by, by Gary Davis. We may yeah. have talked about some of his things before, but uh, anyway. Do you have him on your uh, on your on your site? I don't have any of his songs there yet. Uh, well, I have that song, that but that's a Gary. That that one's called Candyman, the one I just messed with there. But okay. but I don't have anything on on this song yet. I will probably do one on it pretty soon. Okay, um, the one so, that I'm learning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah so right now there's no video on that. Okay? <laughs> it's so, so gonna... nice to look at like you're right in your left hand. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, but that's okay. Yeah, you know, but, you know B minor is uh, so some of it's going to be a little more technically hard for me. But, yeah. But I, I think yeah, it'll take me a little longer to get it. But. So let me, let me print yeah. you up. Uh, okay. Page here of it. The important part about the first section is it's going to start with a slide from from B to E. So from the second fret to the seventh, and then when you get to the seventh, you're going to hit the sixth string along with it. Okay, try that. So we're starting at B, B okay. and slide up to yeah, to E. Yeah. Yeah, nothing to it there. Now what the, the main theme, listen while I play this again.